everyone, we're back with the, uh, another project in our holiday paper pack. And what we're going to make is a gift box, a top and bottom um, box. We are using a piece of um, white cardstock for the bottom of the box and a piece of our pattern paper for the top and one of the greetings from one of the other pages along with a piece of green cardstock um, to mat our greeting onto. I will tell you that um, these are eight and a half by 11 sheets. I did when I cut the pattern paper, I cut it ever so slightly a little larger than eight and a half. I mean like just a sliver because um, when you have a top of the box going on the bottom of the box, um, if you score exactly the same, then everything is just a little bit shorter um, on the top of your box. So. Um, What we're going to do is take the bottom of our box now and we are going to score it an inch and a half on all sides. So all I'm going to do is just spin the paper around on all four sides, making sure we're lined up and scoring it an inch and a half. I'm going to do the same thing to our pattern paper, inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half, and then inch and a half. And that's all the scoring that we have to do. When I get ready to assemble this box, I am going to... Um, oh, goodness. I didn't press down on the score line. I am going to um, fast forward or speed through where I adhere everything together because my ATG gun, this fine thing here that I love so dearly, I believe it's broken because it's not working. I'm going to cut out the center of this because no one is going to know that there's nothing behind there and we can use this. I, I hate to waste paper, especially this glitter stuff. Um, so let me show you how I do that. The border that we are going to need around it is not very big. So I'm going to say um, if I cut out a half an inch and leave a half inch border all the way around, then that that's going to be plenty enough. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to line it up on the right side to half an inch. All right. Now I um, I do I guess I I guess, but I'm just going to go up and down my paper. I'm not going to cut the whole thing. Obviously, you don't want to cut pieces off. We're just trying to cut the middle out. So I'll just put my blade down there, and I'm just going back and forth, trying to cut out the middle of our paper. And if you cut a little bit more than you need, let's see if I did a good enough job here. See, so you got a little bit. There we go. Okay. So there, cut the middle of it out. Now when we adhere, um, we'll adhere the... Um, actually, you know what? Let's do that now because it's much easier to adhere things whenever your project is flat versus um, when it is... See. Yep, that's how we want it.
Okay, so um, this really helped, as you can see. It's my little pokey tool that helps me get that adhesive backing off of that uh, tear and tape stuff. All right, so bottom of our box, the top of our box, we're just going to fit that in there. And there we go. The box itself ends up being uh, eight inches by five and a half inches and um, inch and a half inch thick. Okay. If you wanted, you could take your little um, circle punch, like a half inch probably, and punch some little um, holes on the side so it's easy to get it on and off. But um, that is the project for this time. Looks cute with a little greeting on it. All right, we'll see you next time.